Thanks very much. Morning, everyone. I've, I've got a couple of videos. Uh, you may have seen one or two uh, iSelect ads um, if you've been around on one of our outdoor. And I thought this morning, just you know, that mid-morning time before a coffee, it would be good to wake us up with a bit of a video. But so as I go through, I'll, I'll just I've intersected those to keep the uh, the audience with me. Um, you might not know, we've been running for 17 years now. So we talk about machine learning and algorithms and fintech. Back in the year 2000, we started, and it was really, the business was founded in health insurance. And so we built, um, effectively, algorithms to drive the decision-making process. And we started as a comparison business. It was all just online. Um, about 18 months ago, just under when I took over as CEO, we've started to reshape what the company's all about. And you know, at the core of it, and I've loved the, the other speakers this morning talking about the focus on the customer. And you know, we deal with 9 million unique visitors a year, and I'll touch on our marketplace shortly. But you know, what we've learned over our 17 years is start and stop with the customer. Everything else falls into place. And if you do that, you've got a really great business. We help Australians always get it right on the boring but important stuff. So we, we started in a, above a paint shop in Port Melbourne with eight employees. And we're now in three countries across five offices, and we have over 750 team members. So we're an ASX-listed business, just outside of the two, ASX 200, um, hopefully shortly in the ASX 200. But if you look at ASX, so last year we serviced nine, we had nine million unique visitors come to the site. We had we returned over six million product comparisons. That's where you've actually gone through and got a recommendation on the product. We're over 10 percent of all energy sales in the country. We have about 109 companies that we deal with across the group, and well over 150 brands. Um, more than 12,500 products in our marketplace. Uh, our brand awareness is 87%. I mean, we invest, this year we'll probably invest something like $60 million in marketing in every single channel we can get our hands on. Um, well, last year we did 400,000 units. The first half this year we've done 212,000 sales units. That's across the, the 10 industries we're in. And one in five Australians purchase their health insurance through iSelect. So this is actually the marketplace of brands that you see across the different verticals. So health, energy, life, home loans, money business, general insurance, telco. We're now um, over 5% of all residential broadband sales in the country as well. So if you look in the first six months of the year, we were 3% of all NBN connections, so new acquisitions during the first part. So really, we've built a market leading position in health, in energy, and now in telco. I think you know, we talk about the, the customer. One thing we've learned is customers don't care about us in their day-to-day -day life until they do. The types of products that we specialize are those grudge purchases, things that you, you really keep saying, yeah, I should do that one day. And by the 10th time and maybe the 12th ad you've seen from iSelect, you go, yeah, right, I'll finally do it. But what we like to call it now is life admin. So if you think about it, it's the stuff from the moment from the birth certificate to the death certificate and everything in between. So it's all those grudge purchases, and, and that's where we really create value. So lots of companies talk about online marketplaces and helping the customer. And I loved it earlier, the, uh, the panel were talking about focus. So for our first seven years, all we did was health insurance. And we focused and built out a strong business there. I think what we're saying is we're not going to go off and do you know, travel bookings and hotels. We're focused on the important but boring stuff and really helping customers, because you, you pay to avoid that pain. You want that taken away. Now, we're a free service for our customers. We, do, we charge our partners on the other side. But I think this um, video shows what Where life there's admin life, is. there's admin. Life admin. Everything you just put off and off. Insurance, personal finance, switching energy companies, finding a better home loan, insuring the car. Boring. Yes, but important, definitely. If only there was a one-stop life admin store where anyone could go to get the boring stuff sorted, where they'd always get it right. You can see where this is going, can't you? That's what we at iSelect can do for people. Supply a brilliant, effortless, helpful way to always get it right. A life admin store that sorts out the boring so that they can focus on the exciting. But it's not like we have shelves. And check out Chicks. So how can we call ourselves a store? Because we are so much more than just comparison. More than just a website. We have departments with just what people need. 
and helpful advisors to guide them through. That's all you guys. We have all the life essentials, thousands and thousands of products, fresh ways to hold two products in your hand and look at them side by side. We know our customers so well, we'll anticipate what they need before they even know they need it. No matter what the life event, we'll be there to sort out their ad need. It's customer service on a whole new level. We're the store of the future, a store where you always get it right, so you can get on with the important business of living. Hopefully that gives you a feel for the future vision of iSelect. It is around how we help our customers take care of their, their life admin. There's four core reasons that people use iSelect, and we've seen this consistently over our 17 years. It's really about saving them time, saving them effort, saving them money, and finding a product that better suits their needs. So a lot of people don't realize that 80 of, over 80% of our sales are actually call assisted. So where a customer comes in, they've gone through the website, they've started that research journey. We're asking you name, age, postcode, income, number of dependents, full medical tests, full financial and home loans. And then we're using that data to actually drive the algorithms to find a better product that suits your needs. Our premiums are usually higher than the industry. So in health insurance, we're much higher than the industry. So it's not about price. It's always about value. But because the products are so complicated, customers are actually looking for someone to say, look, I can narrow it down here. Can you just help me understand the industry jargon? And for us, we have a philosophy that every contact with a customer influences whether they'll come back or not. And we need to get it right every time. Our net promoter score is for the group over 47. Um, in health, we're actually at 57, and we're improving that. But certainly, this, in this day and age, we're seeing customers, the, the number of channels that customers use is exploding. And we're, you know, we're right now changing the way we operate. Over 58% of all of our customer visitation starts on a mobile device. Now, we start as a website. We're in a contact center. We can do inbound, outbound calls. But actually, our customers are looking for us to flip that and put the communication tools back into their hands. So what we're really doing is reimagining our customer um, experience right now. So it's not about what you do for the customers, but what you enable them to do. And, and our customers are demanding, look, don't you call me, you let me book an appointment time with you, and then you can call me. So give permission. Make it easier for them to get questions. So we're about to implement uh, Mindy, which will be our, our chat bot. Um, so we're starting to go down the path, and I'll, I'll talk to you about the platform we're using shortly, where effectively you can have, be that via Messenger, a text message, an SMS, you can ask some of the low-level questions around, look, I'm looking for health insurance, it's for a single, what are my options? And the, the chat bot will start to answer those questions for you. Um, at a certain point, you say, look, I'm, I'm ready to talk to an agent, and we'll call you. It all starts with messaging. You know, customers, I can see around the room right now, we're on our phones so many times during the day, smartphones within our reach. We're watching a television ad that prompts us to act. The first device we have is, is the one we go to bed with and the one we wake up with, and that's usually our mobile phones. Really, for us, it's also how do we empower our agents? So we need to get, we have a vast amount of data. Over our 17 years, we've served over 1.1, sorry, 1.4 million customers where we've helped buy a product. But we've gathered information on 11.7 million Australians. And when you think about the amount of information, we've, we've gathered over 171 million pieces of demographic information. Name, age, postcode, what product you're on, what, what your preferences, what's important to you, what's not. And if there's one thing I could share you know, with the, the people in the room running these, the fintech companies, gather everything. Time on site, name, age, any piece of information, gather it, because if you're not using it today, you'll probably use it tomorrow. And trust in our customers. So you know, our, our typical customer are the people in this room. They're a time-poor, affluent, working professional. They don't have time to visit a traditional bank branch or health insurance branch. What they do, they get home, put the kids down, and go, Oh, I've got to sort out that life admin. And we usually see our lead demand at about 8 o'clock really start to take off as people start to jump on their devices and, and move forward. So how are we responding to this challenge? We're right in the middle of putting in two core platforms. So I, iSelect has a core platform that we call iConnect. And we have an in-house in data science team. And they've effectively built a platform across a whole suite of uh, you know, data mining tools, if you like, that 
match the individual customer to the individual consultant in real time. And that's what we're doing there is saying, how can we help find the person that you're more likely to get into rapport with and then help you convert that sale? So they're a person that understands and talks to you in languages that you like. And we do that, that, that algorithm effectively updates every 10 minutes. So it's based on the agent's performance intraday. So we'll use all the history, all the data, everyone, we cluster our customers, so millions of people like you, and then we're getting that down to n equals one. So who's the agent that's right to talk to you? But where we wanted to take it we're, right now, we're putting in Salesforce. And Salesforce is bringing that history that we've got. So we've built a single view of our customers. And that single view goes back over the last 17 years. And so unlike a bank where you might be sitting talking to them in the home loans business and you say, that's great, I need to make a change on my credit card, now you have to go through the identification again, put your customer number, re-verify re your date of birth. Even though you're still dealing with the same bank, we flipped it and we said, how do we get the, how do we do the heavy lifting for our customers? How do we put, um, how do we start to use the software to go and identify the customer? And so what we're doing there is as you come through the website and you start to type in postcode, name, address, or phone number, um, we go and data match that and we bring that information. Now what Salesforce is going to enable us to do is bring that information in real time to the consultant. And all of a sudden you can start to have a contextual conversation. Oh, I see you came in four years ago, Scott, and on energy, back two years ago on health, and today you're looking at car insurance. And all of a sudden we can start to have a very different conversation with our customers. And Aspect Via, um, which is our customer engagement platform, we're the first in the world to implement the Aspect Via platform. If you think about Via, it, it, we have an automatic dialer right now that manages our two million calls that we handle per year. But Aspect V is going to enable us to work across any communication platform. So be that a customer starts on Facebook, saying to their friends, how do you choose a private health insurance product? We could private message that customer. So here's a YouTube clip through an SMS on how to choose a private, uh, private health insurance product. Pick that up via our web chat and move that to an inbound call, and we'd still know it's the same customer. Now, that's all about creating that effortless customer experience. And what we're seeing, and I guess our, our learnings are really defining and aligning on success, is saying, do the heavy lifting for the customer. Don't push the service channels or the expectation back onto the customer. Make it seamless, so make it consistent and effortless, irrespective of the communication channel. It's our job as a brand to help the customer work through that. Optimize the agent experience, so really, how do we get that value adding experience? So create human-to-human -human con interactions when the customer wants that. Or if they want to have a chatbot interaction and a quick SMS because they've got a couple of quick questions, enable them to do that. And then make it convenient, trustworthy, and always on. You know, we're a 24-7 world, so if it's 2 in the morning and someone's uh, ready to decide to buy health insurance, why aren't we there and ready for them? What it's all about for us? Effortless. And those seconds on a website, the seconds that they're waiting, or the time you're asking questions, it, the more barriers you put up, the harder it is to get conversion. And we find that. So we focus on conversion. We're very good at converting a customer lead. And it's those little tiny, you know, sweat the detail on the website because that, that removal of the effort makes a huge difference. I couldn't nice. be here without leaving you with an ad. Our health insurance going up again on the 1st of the April. You've been unfaithful. I better call I Select. It's Carl Eisenbeck from up the road. No! I select. They'll make sure we're not paying too much. Hello. Don't be an April fool. Is that you, Eisenbeck? The average cost of health insurance goes up by 4.8% on April 1st. Review your cover with I select today. It's our new campaign that started on Sunday, so thank you very much for your time.